The installation of Windows 7 is very similar to Windows Vista. After configuring the DVD-ROM drive to be the first boot option within the BIOS, insert the installation DVD, then switch on. After the post messages, the computer should start to boot. The message, press any key to boot from the CD or DVD, appears. It is almost certain that the hard drive in the computer already has a partition, and you should do this before you proceed. If no message appears, then you can assume that the hard drive is not partitioned and does not contain an operating system. As with other versions of Windows, some basic files will need installing before the installation can begin. After a brief period, you'll be given the opportunity to change language. However, the default is English, so this will not need altering. The time and currency format will be set to English United States, so click on the selector to the right of this and change it to English United Kingdom. You should have noted that the keyboard or input method would have automatically changed to United Kingdom when you change the time and currency. We now have the option to select the following. What to know before installing Windows, this covered upgrade options and backing up the system should you decide to upgrade the operating system from an older version. You can also repair your computer. This will reinstall certain boot files that are needed when the operating system starts. We shall be looking at this in further details later. Or install now, which will be our choice during this video. The Microsoft license will now appear and you will have to accept the license agreement before proceeding, then we click on next. Here we have the option to upgrade or use the custom advanced. So if the computer already has an operating system such as Windows XP or Vista, then you could choose the upgrade option and your data will remain intact. Since this is a new installation, we have selected custom advanced. The next screen allows you to choose where to install the operating system. It could be the computer has more than one hard drive, or you may want to install several operating systems. In our example, we can see disk 0 shows 25GB of unallocated space. Without getting too involved at this stage, it basically means that the hard drive has some space, in this case 25GB, that has not been used. It is now prompting us if we want to use some or all of it. Once again, we shall keep it simple. Since disk 0 is already highlighted, click on Next. The following process can take some time to complete. In our example, it has been speeded up. When the computer reboots, the operating system will then detect a partition and the message press a key to boot from CD or DVD drive will appear. This should be ignored as this will start the first part of the process again.
Once these files have been installed, you will be prompted for a username. You will also notice that when you type the username, Windows will create a computer name. This can be altered and we can see later why we need a computer name. Click on Next to continue. You will now be prompted for a password. For the purpose of this lesson, this will be left blank. Now we will be prompted to enter the product code. And this can be entered now or later. In our example, we have removed the tick from Automatically Activate Windows when I'm online. Normally at the next screen, you would choose Use Recommended Settings. In our example, we have clicked on Ask Me Later. Here we have the opportunity to alter the time and settings and change the time zone. These in our example will be left unchanged. Finally, you will be given the option for Home Network, Work Network or Public Network. We shall choose Work Network and this will conclude the Windows 7 installation.